Hey guys, it's Ben from T Nobody here to present you with another deck build. This time it's going to be a Machina Gacha deck, so here we go. First off, two Machina Fortresses. And the main powerhouse of the deck. Uh, other decks run three, I usually use two because that's all I really need. Two Machina Gear Frames, the main searcher for Machina Fortress and easy tribute fodder for him. Very useful this guy is. Machina Peacekeeper, two of them. This forms part of the Machina chain. Use this to get gear frame, use gear frame to get fortress and repeat. Two green gadgets. Also, just keep adding one. Just keep adding hand advantage, can't beat that. Two red gadgets, continuing on with the hand advantage. Two yellow gadgets, once again with the hand advantage. And all three gadgets make pretty good tribute father. Two cyber dragons, uh, the secondary beat stick in this deck. Eh. Just pretty much use to overwhelm the opponent. Monk and a force, just one. Uh, as you can see, this deck is not built to get Monk and a force out. He's just here to get Monk and a fortress out much easier. It's just that simple. Didn't mean to be rude, but one card trooper mills the deck, sending possibly Monk and a fortress to the graveyard to be summoned later, and he can't beat his attack boost effect. Scrap Recycler thins the deck by sending a machine to the graveyard and can help you with draw power by sending two back to the back to the deck. Two MSTs just for spell and trap destruction. Two shrinks to get rid of my opponent's monsters and deal damage. Dark hole just for widespread destruction. Very good card. Giant Trune to get rid of my opponent's uh, spell and traps so I can be free to attack. Monster Reborn, another card to help bring Fortress back to the field. Solidarity, this deck solely runs machines and this boosts all their attack so you can't beat that. Burner of the Mighty just makes it easier for machine monsters just to overwhelm the opponent. My body as a shield, very useful for preventing, say, mirror force or dark hole, but it comes with a very steep, I think it's just a steep price of 1500 but you never know when it might come in handy. Fisher gets rid of a monster, simple as that. Fisher does with the lowest attack, though. Limit removal, a staple in every machine deck, doubles their attack. If it's best to equip a monster first with a union monster to keep him on the field for another turn. Here we go. Traps so far. I run two trap holes. And just get rid of pesky summons you don't want. Uh, Duster Nail. Once again with spell and trap destruction. And you get to set one, so that's good. Regeki Break. Uh, free reign to destroy any card on the field except. Well, cards I can't be targeted, but you know what I mean. Uh, Ultimate Offering, really good card. 500 per extra summon. Swarm to fill with gadgets. Just wipe them out. Ceasefire, combine that with Ultimate Offering, you can do heavy damage with this. Road Decree, if you're in a tight spot and you don't want well, any unwanted surprises, lock down spells and trap. I mean, not spells, just traps. Very good card. Roll out. If your fortress is about to get in trouble, just use this, save them for another turn, and I don't see this used a lot, but I'm glad I'm using it. Come okay. I have I really love getting monsters removed from play. And this just helps immensely. And here's a card that many people may have never seen. It's called Liberty at Last. It came in the Tag Force 5. Came out, came out with Tag Force 5, yeah. And whenever a monster is destroyed by battle on your side of the field, you can select two monsters on 
well, two phase up monsters, and you can return back to the deck, which can save you and buy you some time. And the always important mirror force. Widespread destruction, man. You just can't beat that. And I am running one copy of Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon. I can't seem to find a second Chimera Tech, but this one just works wonders. I don't get to use them often, though. I wish I did, but can't be helped, though. Uh, this was my first deck that I ever had. Well, the first deck I had in a long time. I bought up out of parts from the Machina Mayhem deck. And I supplemented it with other cards I bought. All in all, this deck is good. Uh, but I'm not using it now. I'm just running Great Keepers. But you never know. I might go back to it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Why am I pausing so much? I don't know. Anyway, this is my Machina Gadget deck. This has been from Team Nobody. See you guys. So long.